Hey guys, welcome to the messy workbench of Archaeology 104. So today, amongst all the clutter, we have the RPM gearbox for the Traxxas Stampede, Rustler, and two-wheel drive slash. Now, today's video is going to be a little different. I don't really feel comfortable doing installing this thing on camera because I don't know how to do it completely so I'm watching a video while I'm doing this but I'll show you the finished product and I'll talk a little bit about it so it'll be alright um, if you want to see how to install it on a video you can check out a whole bunch of different videos on YouTube personally I like the Dark Ecliptic Heart um, his video is really good and he tells how to install stuff very well so Next time you see this thing, it'll be ready and installed in my truck. Okay, so now I have this gearbox installed and I really like the way it looks. The most notable feature about it though, is that metal gear plate, or no, motor plate, sorry. It works as a heat sink, so it keeps it cooler. And it also is stronger than just the plastic one on the stock one. Personally, mine, I had problems with the motor moving all the time, so then it would um, strip all my spurs. So I had to replace those quite often with that. But now this should fix that problem. It's a really strong, it's made out of a really strong uh, plastic that most RPM parts are made out of. And I'm sure it'll hold up really good. So. Here's an angle from this side, and I'll show you what it looks like from the other side. There's that. It was a pretty long process, but it's uh, really, it's really worth it. The results speak for themselves. And I've heard that the RPM wheelie bar mount fits on this way better than it did on the stock one, so it'll work a lot. It'll work a lot better. Um, th that's probably all I have for today. This was kind of a shorter video because I didn't do the work on camera. Uh, once I figured it out, it was pretty simple. But I'll leave a link in the description to the video that I watched.